up guys and welcome back to a another video this is a really long rated video the amount of times i've been asked to make this video is insane i honestly it's not that i didn't want to make it it's just that i don't think you guys really want to see it if you guys really see it i don't think it's gonna be what you guys expect because each time i do a new makeup selection i have less and less and less makeup because i'm always decluttering and i'm always buying makeup but as i buy it i like take makeup out of my collection so it's never really growing it's kind of shrinking most of the time i do have a good amount of things though and they're mostly newer things so it'll be something different for you guys to see and it's not like all my makeup is the same from last time but so yeah, my makeup is organized a lot differently than it used to be. I always um, am reorganizing my makeup space because I like to I like change a lot. I like to change a lot of things all the time. So everything's kind of changed. Everywhere is not where like everything is not where it used to be. Um, I got ready today just for this video, but I'm not really gonna show my face. So doesn't really matter what I look like. My hair is day three hair, and it's literally so disgusting. But I was told, since I have blonde hair, I cannot wash it every day. So, I'm going to wash it today, finally. And I think later on today, I'll um, film a hair care video. Because my hair has grown so much. And it is so much healthier than it used to be, even while blonde. Because I've been doing this new routine. But, so yeah, I might post that. And also my post a uh, skin and body care routine soon as well because i've been using products that really changed my life and really you know got me back together but before we get on to this video i want to talk about my glasses these are my glasses they're super super cute um so they look like they're adorable i love like this like color opticals online actually sent me these glasses i did want the clear ones but they did ask me to send them three options because maybe i don't know if they were sold out but i got these ones and i actually really do like these ones they're super cute they're like really big on my face and i have a really big face so it kind of like you know makes it look a little smaller but these are actually blue eye glasses with the coronavirus i know everything is online we're constantly on zoom call meetings we're doing all our schoolwork online and you know we're all addicted to our phones also my phone case is so cute i'll put the company um on the screen you can customize it i actually customize this color as well as the color of my name where you want it to be placed and the font of your name you can customize everything you can make your own phone case it's so cute definitely recommend that um company but anyway we're all addicted to this we're all addicted to going on tiktok you know we all spend hours on instagram on tiktok on youtube you're watching me from your screen right now as we speak you're you know you have a tv you guys are probably watching tv like that's like for fun you know so we're on our laptops we're on screens 24 7 literally um it's just so easy to get lost you know in your in social media or just on your screen so i do definitely think blue eyeglasses are really important for your eyes it's not healthy for you to be looking at a screen that long it's not um healthy for your eyesight at all i know my eyesight is not the best i actually do have prescription glasses they really are a big help because i'm constantly on my phone you know or my laptop when i wake up literally the first thing i have to grab is my laptop to join my zoom meetings up until like 12 and then i'm doing homework on my laptop and then i'm on my phone and then i'm watching tv and then i'm on like my laptop watching youtube like it's just i'm always on some type of screen so this is definitely something you guys should invest in is some blue light glasses i'll leave all the other breast of the information down below as well as a link if you guys want to check it out but without further ado let's get on to today's video so this is the overview my overview has not really changed it kind of looks the same for the most part i did add some rugs to my room that just has some cleaning supplies like windex and hair care as well as my like hot tools everything on my vanity is from amazon that little mirror is from amazon my big mirror is from amazon the lights are from amazon my desk is from amazon my rag is from target and then these little these brush containers are also from Target. Um, I really want to get a new way to store them because this is not really cute. I don't really like them right there. I don't really like how it looks. They were, they were cute when I seen them. I got them at like the dollar section so they weren't expensive. Definitely will use that for something else though. And then I have these clips that I keep forgetting to give back to my mom. But these are just like tacks. 
these are like tacks but they're like little hooks so i just put some of my necklaces right here um that i don't want to get tangled i also do have some necklaces in my drawer you'll see right now but i'm just gonna leave it right here so i can go put this to my mom and then here i really really like this i have not updated this in literally <laughs> a while now actually um well my personal goals as well as my i'm thankful for and this is pretty much well, i already filmed this one oh, it's not even coming off but I do keep track of my classes because I do have different classes and I also do have a different class every Wednesday. I keep track of like all my, um, you know, my assignments that need to be done. I have not updated that this week, so I need to do that ASAP. I was literally just thinking about that this morning, but I was just such in a rush to get a video filmed. And then I just have some companies and, you know, all that stuff really does keep me together sometimes. But let's just get on to the drawers. So this drawer, I'm not sure what it had last time. I'm pretty sure I did have lashes in it last time, but I did move them and then put them back here. My desk is actually really dirty. You guys can like see because I did do I did start doing my nails. I did this out on myself and um I got glue everywhere. I should have put something down, but I'm not really sure. I need to like put something over this. Maybe I'll put like transfer paper over this or something. But I do have all my lashes. I have all of my lashes from my um collection. I have some Lorena Cosmetics lashes, your Lord lashes. I have Amy's lashes. Um, I have A1 Lashes Shop. I have ColourPop lashes. I have more um, Princess G Beauty lashes. I have more, um, which is these called? Your Lord lashes. Um, I just have, I have a lot of lashes here. As you can see, I have some Too Faced. These are actually the ones I'm wearing today. And these are the Kiss ones in Glam. I love these. I got them from Ulta. Glamify Me. I also have some, I have some Glamnetic glue here that I need to use. Because I have some Glamnetic lashes, but I have not used them yet. Um, there are these ones right here. They're cute. But I just don't really like like magnetic lashes don't really catch my attention these are kind of dirty um i don't really clean my lashes because sometimes when this is open and i'm doing my makeup you know my makeup gets all dropped in here but yeah those are like most of my lashes overview i don't really have favorite lashes <laughs> my lashes are probably my favorite lashes um you guys should follow my lash page i do not have any lashes in stock right now but i'm working on a website as well as a relaunch but yeah i'm always constantly throwing out lashes um so these are just the lashes that are all like that I actually like. And this drawer actually goes in deeper. It's just back there. There's some lashes that I need to like actually look at. I don't remember which ones are back there. But yeah. This next drawer is an organized mess. That's the only way to actually explain what this drawer is. It's everything I absolutely need. It's all my necessities in a very organized messy way. Here I have a lot of my jewelry. I have some nose piercings that has like nothing in here because I already lost all of them. I have a lot of hoops. I have necklaces. I have so many rings. So many things like my everyday jewelry, like my favorite, absolute favorite jewelry is all in here. Um, then here I have my bands for my braces. And then in here I have my eyelash curler from Tarte. And then this little like eyelash clamper from TJ Maxx. And then my glasses to see. And then some castor oil and then some lash growing serum. I put those on my lashes and brows at night. Um, but yeah, I have this, which is actually just sea salt water and sea salt and water for my piercings to clean them. I have this pixie eye cream. These are this is like my skincare routine right here. Um, I don't really use much for my skincare routine besides like my moisturizer and like my cleanser and toner that's all in my bathroom, but this is the skincare that I have here. This is just my medication one, my medicated one. This one I got from TJ Maxx. And if you guys watch my, um, that vlog when I did get this, it actually works really good. I like it. I actually use this a lot more than this one. I feel, really don't feel like this does anything for me besides dry the heck out of my skin. Then I have some, like, headbands to do my makeup. Here I have a lot of, like, nail glue and nail stuff. And then here I have some clips and then some, like, eyebrow razors. When I do my makeup and then when I need to, you know, shave my eyebrows. And then I have this fan from Glamify Me for my setting spray. I have a lot of glue. Um, I have a lot of clampers for eyelashes, spoolies. I also have like a weird pen in here. Scissors, just like stuff for my eyelashes. And then I have this. This is eyeliner because I always forget to pick that up. 
when I go to here to get all my stuff for my makeup. Here I just have my favorite mascaras, my telescopic, my Too Faced Damn Girl, my Bad Gal Bang Benefit, my ColourPop Brown Mascara, my Roller Lash, my Tarte, my Thrive Cosmetics, and then a small roller lash. These are just all my favorite ones that I use for my lower lashes as well as to blend my lashes in. So that is everything in there. Now for here, I actually did get all of these separately. They came in two and I got them at the dollar store. I know a lot of people on TikTok been like, um, been raving about how the dollar store had containers. This was like when I kept seeing it on my free page. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go. And one time I went, I did end up picking up two, but I needed some more because I didn't have enough space. So I did pick up one, two, three, four of them. And they're like $4 each. So for this was only like, this was only like $16, which is really good because this would have been like well over $30 if I were to got it, even from Marshalls or like Amazon. But up here I have two of my amethyst, my stepmom and my dad's house. Um, I have this really big one, which I got recently when I went, and this really like this smaller one that I got a while, like years, years, years ago that I just wanted to put up here as well because it's really pretty and it kind of like matches this one. And then I have my rose quartz. This is my favorite, favorite one because of the way it's shaped. I'm pretty sure I've had this for so many years. Like, I want to say maybe since I was like 11 or 12. I literally, I've literally had this for so, so long. I think my dad got this for me and it's a rose quartz. And my favorite stone is rose quartz. And I think it's really important. I have them everywhere. I even have one in my bathroom. Not this exact shape, but just a rose quartz because it does help with self-love. Which I really do want to, you know... I want to attract and I want to keep. So I always have rose quartz everywhere. I have so many rose quartz in so many different shapes and sizes. But this is just my favorite one. So I like to keep it on my vanity because this is where I'm usually at. Then over here I have some like lip scrubs and lip masks. So here I have a Laneige lip mask. It looks like this. And this one is a sleeping mask. And then I have this Aurora Glosses Peppermint Lip Scrub. Which I recently got um, from my PR video my small business these truly beauty freaking masks i use these on the daily before i do my makeup or even like um before i go to bed i like to use this as well i like to use this mask daily sometimes even twice a day this is the heartbreaker daily lip plumping mask it leaves your i don't know what that little piece of fuzz is in my freaking finger this leaves your lips so plump and so beautiful i cannot rave enough about this this is honestly the best they also have like stars i think in different like shapes i have a code with truly beauty if you want to get so many off these are 14 dollars each they are a little bit pricey all their stuff is a little bit pricey but trust me i've never had anything work as well as these products on me I actually have so many holy grails from them that I definitely will repurchase. And then I have this unicorn fruit lip plumping balm, which is really nice and soothing for your lips. I really, really love this for before bed because my lips do get really dry, especially with wearing lipstick and the weather in California when it's freaking freezing balls. So that's what I like to keep there because it kind of doesn't fit inside my drawers. Like these are like too like tall. But I'm going to go through all these drawers right now. I'm just going to move my ring light really fast because I feel like the lighting doesn't need to be over there. It needs to be over here. Okay, I know I talk really fast. It's just how I talk and I'm really getting out of breath. So I'm going to try slowing it down a little bit. I'm glad I caught that now and not later before you guys told me something about it. Because I know you guys don't like when I talk fast, especially in these videos. Because it's just, you know, my mind runs so fast. And I have so many thoughts and so many things to say that I just run my mouth like crazy. But anyway first drawer is my prepping drawer so inside my prepping drawer i have everything to prep my lips obviously so here i have my Too faced lip insurance this is the original it's not focusing this is my Too faced original demi matte anti feathering lip primer i use this a lot for when i use my lip glosses i mean when i use lipsticks and it helps with my lip liner to go on very smoothly i have this mario badescu lip balm as well as a shea moisture lip balm this whip shea butter lip chapstick this botanicals glow lip mask which i use when i'm not using that lip this sleeping mask to go to bed i use this jouet lip enhancer which is really really pretty i used to keep this in my bag all the time but i kind of like like to try out new things then i have this just pink lip oil 
high gloss and then i just have this um rio de janeiro tinted lip balm that i like to put after my lip liners before i put on some lipstick just so i have a little bit of a tint sometimes or if i just want to prep my lips for some lipstick and then i just got this in my ipsy i mean i just got this in my boxy charm this is the um cab lip oil which is so honestly gorgeous i love this packaging it's like so chunky i'm gonna probably put this in my purse this is the blue raspberry one it smells like shea moisture like curl cream if you guys have curly hair and you guys put that in your hair you guys know how that smells and then i just have this huda beauty silk lip balm in here as well as this little scrubber that i got from amazon to like exfoliate your lips so these are just like all my like hair because if you're gonna do all of this to your lips you need to have some of this as well so these are just my favorites i used to have a lot of chapsticks but i got rid of so much of them i had one of these whole big drawers full of lip stuff but now i literally narrowed it down to just this which is crazy guys I, but i did a lot i don't really like clutter too much then here this doesn't really bothers me how non-organized it is but i have so many lip liners in here as well as my morphe sharpener i have a lot of nyx i have a lot of kylie I have some, I have a lot of Morphe as well, some ColourPop, some Elf. I have a lot of different freaking, I have a lot of different brands and Maybelline and L'Oreal and, you know, just a lot. I'm not going to go through all of those because they're literally all the same. But I, if you guys are looking for some affordable lip liners, NYX, ColourPop, Kylie's not too affordable, but I love, love, love her lip liners and Morphe are the way to go. I stand by their lip liners. And if you guys want me to do like a lip video of like my favorite lip combos, let me guys, let me know because I definitely will do that. Uh. Here I have some NYX lip sticks and then some Kylie lipsticks, some glosses and some more Kylie and then some more, I don't know, just weird. Here I have my ColourPop glosses, Kylie glosses and then more Kylie glosses. Here I have my ColourPop BFF or my ColourPop lippy sticks. You guys need hold on. this one is like my almost everyday inner like I love this one. I'm usually always using this. This is Cookie. You guys cannot see this is a Cookie ColourPop lippy stick. I definitely love this one. It gets a lot of love. These are only like I think like eight or nine dollars. I do have two other colors, but that's my favorite. Then I have two Morphe lipsticks. My favorite. This is actually probably this one, this one, and the next one I'm about to show you are my like almost everyday shades that I use all the time. Morphe lipsticks are honestly such a favorite. This one is in Bare All, and this is the best nude freaking. This is the best nude lipstick. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. I literally just bought you. Can you please work with me? Um. Oh, anyways, this is what it looks like. And this is actually what I'm wearing in my lips today. It's gorgeous. It has a lot of love. It's gotten so much love. Trust me, guys. I love this lipstick. This is also my, my top three. This is the third. This is the NYX Suede Lipstick in see in dainty days i love 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 this one i was looking for it for so long and i finally found it at ulta it was always sold out because of tiktok but i finally got my hands on it and then i just have some anastasia some kylie some max some milani and then these two little fenty beauty lipsticks that i did not know were gonna be this freaking tiny when i ordered them but that's fine then here i have some glam shop glosses all the madison beer glosses i have some anastasia minis this one I love using for um, my nude days. And these ones I have not used yet. But I, oh, I actually really, really love this one. I had a phase where I would only ever wear this lip gloss with a lip liner because it's really pigmented. But these two right here are perfect like for inner corner. For These are perfect for your inner lips for, like, for a plumpy look. And these are the shades. They are in Tasty and Sweet. There, I love Anastasia lip glosses, but I just got the minis because honestly, it's really not worth it for me to buy the full sizes. I do have some full sizes, but it's not worth it because I never use all of them. I have ALA Studios. I have Milani. I have Tarte. I have Neutrogena lip gloss. I have um, some NYX lip cream, some NYX lip glosses, some Huda Beauty, as well as some Buxom. This is like a... So dirty. Oh my gosh. 
But this is a lip plumper, which I really actually do like that one. I just never really use it. And then this Beauty Beauty lipstick in Mogul. I don't know what to say that. And last but definitely not least is this last drawer. I have my two Ofra lip glosses. My three Anastasia like glimmer. I think these are like the holiday ones. Oh my god. All my lipsticks are so dirty because they used to be on a drawer like smashed together literally. But I have those three Anastasia ones. I have this Too Faced Plumper. This Orgasm NARS one. Two Fenty Beauties. And then this Complex Culture one. And then this Revlon lip plumping i forgot i had that i bought it and i used it once um so i need to use that again but those are all my lip please i like to have them all right here because i kind of like to just look through everything when i'm looking for a lip combination and i'm sit right here so i need to get a new chair because this chair is so bad and it makes my back hurt sitting there for too long and i never feel comfortable doing my school work here and i'm always doing it on my freaking bed and then i'm like so not focused because i'm on my bed you know i feel like i'd be more put together if i was on a desk but this chair sucks i need to get like an actual big one but i haven't really been able to find one that caught my attention anyway we're gonna go on to the big finale of all my makeup i opened the curtain i don't know if that lighting is better but at the tippy top here of my Alex 9 drawers that I got from Ikea. Here on the side, I have like a PR box that I really don't know what to do with. And I think this drawer is like something stopping it from closing all the way. I don't know what is stopping it, but we'll figure that out later. Here I have all my Kylie blushes. I love Kylie blushes. They're honestly my faves ever. This is the one I'm wearing today. This one is in pink powder and it's gorgeous. It's just really like baby pink. And I really like this when I'm wearing white. Because it kind of just like gives me that, that really like blushy. Literally like gorgeous. I love this color when I'm wearing white. It's just like a really pale pink. And I'm honestly obsessed with this one. This is the one I read. Like I got this one so recently. This is also I bought this one when I bought the pink powder one and this one's baddie on the block which as you can see is a really like brighter pink um this one is kitten baby it's a really like nice peach this one is we're going shopping which is a really bright coral which i only wore once this one is close to perfect which is a like my i used to wear this shade all the time when i was barely getting into blush i do really like this blush when i'm doing like nude looks or like i'm wearing brown because it is a really nice like brownie blush and then Crush, which is brown, but it also has a little peach undertone, kind of. So, it's like a brownie peachy. So, I like to use this as well. Um, like, kind of with the Close to Perfect one. And then I do have a highlighter. This one is an Ice Me Out, the first Kylie product that I probably think I had. And then I have my favorite bronzer currently, which I'm wearing today, which is my Kylie bronzer in khaki. So, these are just all my Kylie, like compacts in here they fit perfectly i have enough for all of these which i like to keep up here because they're just aesthetically pleasing and it's easier for me to grab because like my lip liners i have a lot of choices for my blushes so i just kind of like to contemplate what kind of blush i want to wear that day and i just pick it from right here um when i'm doing my makeup so back here i have some flowers from valentine's day that need to be thrown out and replaced hint hint i need some new flowers baby for watching this you're lacking because it's been a month and they're still here girl needs some more flowers because it looks a little dead like everything's just so vibrant in my room and then it just looks a little dead but that's fine i have this truly beauty body oil this is the blueberry kush body oil i really love this i've been using it a lot um i recently started using it they sent it to me a long time ago but i let my mom have it but then i kind of stole it back because i was like i kind of want to try it so i've been putting it on my body um it works really good and my skin gets really dry so it's very good for me then along with that, I also use the Chili Beauty Unicorn Fruit with Body Butter. It has acai chia seeds, matcha, rose water, collagen boost. I love, 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 love this. It gives you a very beautiful glow. So if I'm wearing like biker shorts or something, I like to put it on my legs. But I always am putting it on my like tummy and just all over my body. And it smells amazing. You'll literally smell like candy. Then inside here, I just have some medicine. And then here I have... A candle that I stole from my mom that I've been burning. And I accidentally burned the side of the candle. I actually accidentally burned this side of my candle too. If you guys know how to not do that, let me know. Because obviously I need to know. But this one I got from TJ Maxx. And this one is a uplifting aromatherapy one that I've been waiting to burn. I only burn sometimes because it is an aromatherapy one. And I do think I should use it only when I kind of need it. So if I'm really stressed, like during finals, I would, you know, burn that. 
Then back here, I have like this little like container thing. And this just has my sage and some lighters so I could burn my sage. Um, and I just got this from Hobby Lobby, this little container. And then, oh, my sage kind of just bursted a little bit. But then I have this picture from my birthday. It's a Polaroid picture um, of me and my boyfriend back there. And it's just on this little cubicle thing. I think I got that from Daiso. And then in here, I just have some rose quartz. And then I have some little stones in there. I have like a couple of rose quartz in here, but I like to have my stones everywhere, not just really in one place. But I do kind of put these, like if I'm doing my homework, I surround myself with them. Or if I'm working out, I like to put those on my yoga mat. So I kind of just have them in here. Then I have these little two containers from Marshalls. I have my little like hair ties. And then in here I have some scrunchies that I always wear. This is supposed to be in here. And then I have some more hair ties just because it's easier for me to grab from right here than it is from me to like open a drawer. They're just so easy accessible. So my first drawer here I think is the same as it was before and it is my prepping drawer. So all my, you know, moisturizers, my primers, and my setting sprays, they kind of all go together. I don't know if that lighting is worse or better. We're going to go, we're going to go right here. So I have my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love, love, love this primer so much. I definitely do recommend it. As you can see, I use so much of it. Um, this little thing is like down here, so it like pushes the product up as you use it. So that's a good amount of product I've been using. This is my all time favorite primer ever. It literally makes my skin so glowy and so nice. I do like like a more mattifying primer or mattifying look actually, but this preps my skin so well and it is a little bit tinted. Um, I sometimes put this on just to like if I'm going to my boyfriend's house and I just want to do some skincare I put this on my skin without like no like foundation or no concealer just nothing and it gives a really nice tint and a really nice glow It makes my skin look really smooth. This is the Elmas Superfood um, Glow Moisture I don't know why I was filming like that, but this is the Elmas Superfood Glow Moisturizing Primer Then I have these soft focus glow drops. These smell very weird like they smell like really strong for me they smell good but just strong for something i don't really want to put on my face but these are like some glow um drops so it's like a serum that you can put as a primer then i have this milk stick and this is the um i think it's like a moisturizing oil like a water stick or it's a hydrating oil stick i really like this for like a really like nice moisturizing um lightweight primer stick kind of thing i guess then I have this. I absolutely love this. This is so good for um, my dry skin gals. This is a silicone free priming moisturizer. This is from Good Molecules. It has so much skincare benefits. Super affordable and comes in a really like nice and big bottle. Then I have my Fenty Beauty um, one, my Fenty Beauty primer, and then a NYX Honey Do Me Up primer. So those are like my like bodily primers. I kind of keep them all in here. Then for my squeezy two primers, I have my e.l.f. Putty primer, which is kind of just by itself. I've used, like, some of my nail scratches. But this is, like, my third one. Then I have this Maybelline Master Prime. And this is just really good because I have really, like, red skin because I'm very pale. And then I have this Master Prime, which I've used, like, two of these already. But they're silicone, and I kind of stopped using silicone a long time ago. But this is a really good do for the Smashbox photo finish if you are interested in trying it but i definitely do recommend using something like this like the elf one or the kombucha superfood one then i have this nyx hydrating um primer which was my favorite primer ever in middle school um this is like i kept repurchasing it and this is like my fourth one i think then i have this mark jacobs blaring um coconut primer then I have this Tula Skincare um, Face Blurring Primer. It's supposed to be like, um, it's a face filter blurring and moisturizing primer, which I like a lot, but it just is really tinted, so you have to like make sure you blend it in right. I just kind of forgot about this. I need to start using this again because it's a really good brand and a really good product. Then I have the Too Faced Hangover Priming Moisturizer thing. And then I have the No Problem Primer Water. And then I just have the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer, which I used a lot when I went to Vegas because um, it was summer, so I liked more like glowy stuff. So I used that a lot. Then for my setting sprays, I do not have a lot of setting sprays at all because my setting sprays are freaking expensive and I only use the same two. So I literally only have these setting sprays, which is really sad. I threw away like all of them. I used to literally collect setting sprays. And I threw them all away because I literally only use these ones. 
Um, I have the Maven Rosewater Setting Spray. But these are my holy grails. These ones right here. The Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. Is, this is like my fifth one. They're like $15. I got them at Target. This is honestly amazing. It makes your skin look so soft. As if, you know, the products I use make my skin look really smooth and soft regardless. But this is really just a finishing touch. Um, so I really like that. And this is the pry the the smashbox photo finish setting spray this is transfer proof so it's really good for when you're wearing masks i don't like to use this a lot because it is kind of expensive but i definitely do recommend this if you're somebody who wants to keep your makeup on while you are doing like really if you are always having a mask on or you know if your makeup is always coming off on your nose or on your cheeks or on your forehead or whatever this is so bomb then I just have the Tarte Stay Spray, which I used to use a lot in um, when I went to school because it really let, like it really set my face. And then I have the Milani Make It Last for if I want some more matte look because I love matte looks. And then I just have this Anastasia Dewy Set Mist that I've had for so long. It is it has been loved like I literally only have a little bit, but it does make your face really dewy, which is not really what I go for anymore. So I don't really use it that often, but I really do still like it if I do ever want to do a dewy look. That is what I use. And then I just have some hand sanitizers right here because um, they're kind of small. I have one in my bag right now and I just like to keep them with me. So this next drawer is powders, concealers, beauty blenders, and foundations. As you can see, I got rid of so many foundations. These are only my favorites. This is a foundation I use every day. This is my second bottle. Or actually, you can say I guess like fourth bottle because I've had to switch them out a lot. But I use a whole bottle of this foundation and I've never ever finished a foundation before. Because I'm always changing them. I'm always getting different shades. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in 405. When I tell you this is amazing. This is such great coverage and such great finish. Makes my skin look so soft. I also have it in this shade. This one is in 420 True Beige. And this one is a little bit too dark for me. Um, as you can see the difference. This is my shade and this is that shade. This shade I use for the summertime. But I'm still going to keep it. I could mix it. Um, this is like a pretty much like a full bottle still. So I don't want to really throw it out. Then I have this Do You Too Face Full Coverage. This is in porcelain and I thought it was going to be my shade. But it honestly is really dark for being a porcelain one. And it smells very strong. Then I have the It's You Skin Perfecting Liquid Foundation that I tried on my full face of Sistar, um, you know, makeup. And it's really good. I actually do like this. I have not had a chance to use it again, but I do definitely love it. That's why it's in here. This is, like, really separating, but this is my NARS um, Semi Matte All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, which is really, like, light on me. But I couldn't make it work, so, but I don't know. I just really don't use it that often because it is, I don't want to say it's light, but it's kind of too yellow for me. Then I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 01 Creamy Vanilla. I don't use this anymore, but it used to be my holy grail, literally. And then I have the Femi Matte one. Um, this is really good. I really like this one. This is in 120. I feel like this foundation is really good, but it's just not as full coverage as I wanted it to be. I kind of use it more when I didn't have acne or anything to cover up. And I've always liked the fuller coverage, you know, effect. But I just never really cared to look for another one because I was so obsessed with that one. But honestly, it's good, but it's not amazing. I do definitely think that this one is a lot better. This L'Oreal foundation. This is the Per 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. Which I haven't used a lot, but I do definitely think it's important to always have a tinted moisturizer with you if you want to do like a more lighter makeup look or whatever. Then I have beauty blenders. I have real techniques. I have like this one, which I forgot what company it's from. They sent like they sent me two of these, which I actually really like. I wish I would remember what they were from. More real techniques. I have smaller ones, bigger ones. I actually clean out this drawer a lot because I had so 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 many, but these are just my clean ones. Then here I have some powders. I have some Fit Me. I have some Fit Me Press Powder. Some Fit Me Loose Powder. Some, I don't know, Cicate London Press and Loose Powder. And then my Fenty Beauty Powder. Back there I have some Cushion Foundations. Right here I have my Kylie Powder, which is my favorite powder. I have my Mike. This one is in Translucent. And then I have my Marc Jacobs Powder, which I actually really do like as well. And this one is in 34 Invisible. 
And then I have this, which is my Holy Grail. This is the Superstay Maybelline um, powder foundation. My skin is too dry for powder foundation. I don't really like how it looks on me, but this is really good for getting a little bit more extra cover on your eyes. Um, like coverage on your eye bags or, you know, um, I like to bake with this as well. Not really bake, but kind of like create the fine lines of where you would normally bake. It's super good and I have a shade really lighter than me so that I could brighten up my under eyes because I really like the bright under eye look. And it just honestly, this, without this, I could not do my makeup. This is uh, my favorite thing ever. Then I have this um, Fit Me powder. This one's the matte one and this one's just the regular like one but i do like this one this one's in 120 i really do like this powder as you can see and then the milk powder which i've been using a lot because i actually ran out of this one and it keeps selling out i'm like i'm not ran out but like i literally have like barely anything in there and so i have to be using the milk powder but it's still really good i really do like this one and this one is in translucent then in here i have some elf milk tart incognito way and wild the it's you i have some la girl i have some l'oreal master conceal i have the born this way i have the age rewinds i have the revolution i have a lot of concealers in here um i have the pretty fresh concealer i love these concealers i like all of them my favorites are probably the tart one for sure i love the tart will never be replaced in my book but it is really expensive and i'm running out of it so i've been using this one the elf camo but it kind of is a little bit dark for me but this one's in fair warm so maybe i should get a different color but i think the other one was too peachy for me but we're just gonna go on with our life this next one is really boring i just have a little bit of extra mascaras i have a, i had a whole collection of mascaras if you guys remember my like very very last like not my last makeup collection but the one before that i had so many mascaras but i got rid of all of them because mascaras do go bad I have my color corrector, I have some eyeliners in here, I have some water liners, and then yeah, so that's just basically everything in here, it's just eyeliners, water liners, and stuff like that. And then here I have some tattoo brows, I also have this other tattoo brow thing from Maybelline to tint your brows, and then this one as well. I have a lot of brow gels, brow pencils, I have some milk brow gel, the Kush brow gel, I have the Maybelline brow gel, the NYX brow gel, Essence brow gel um i have my color pop my favorite color pop um pencil for my brows this wonder beauty one i also have a wonder beauty um lip i mean lip brow pencil i have this high brow benefit highlighter i just have all my brow stuff in here i have some brow powder my anastasia dip brow which i never want to use again in my life so traumatizing i have the milani dip brow which i started using after the anastasia with honest this one but it's better but day brow is not to move anymore for me i have a lot of my like glitters as well as eye primers so i just have these ones from um sister cosmetics i have some elf ones i have some milani ones i have my morphe priming for my primer for my um eyes i have some like loose glitters i have this anastasia loose glitter and then i have the laura mercier eye primer and then so yeah this is pretty much it i have like some eye stuff in there and back there or whatever and i got all these organizers i got these organizers from target and then i got these organizers from tj maxx and then here's all my highlighters and i got rid of so much of my highlighters because i do not need that many highlighters but i did keep quite a bit because i do still like them i have this fancy beauty diamond bomb which i use every freaking day this is my everyday highlighter this color pop one in flex katarian i have these physicians formula butter highlighters which are honestly amazing i have this whiter one and then this golder one the gold one is in champagne and then the white one is in pearl then i have my three anastasia loose highlighters back here i have some fenty beauty ones and this one is in lightning dust and fire crystal i have the master holographic one which if you can't get this one because it is forty dollars i do definitely recommend getting this i have the ofra highlighter in glazed donut i have the becca highlighter in champagne pop i have the makeup obsession mega honey highlighter which is honestly amazing i have the pixie by petra highlighter which is a dupe for this one i do like this one as well i have the wet and wild ones in golden flower crown as well as blossom glow because everybody would always talk about those so i had to get them but i never used them I have the Prism Air one, which is honestly amazing. And then I also have this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter, which is my favorite loose highlighter. 
forever. And then I just do have these two Milani palettes. This one is the like, um, this one is the Stellar Lights. And then I have this one, which if you want a highlighting palette, I do definitely recommend this one. And this one is in Rose Glow. I love these two colors. Then this, this is the Anastasia Glow Kit. Who does not have this? Literally, if you don't have this, what are you doing? Um, I used to use this a lot. As you can see, that's really dented. But I don't really use it that much anymore because I do have a replacement. And I'm talking fast again, guys. I'm so sorry. It's honestly a habit. That's just how I talk. But then this is my Physician's Formula Butter Collection. Um, if you guys do not have this, you guys need to run and get it. This is so beautiful. I love these bronzers, these highlighters, and these blushes. I wasn't a big fan of the highlighters until I actually swatched them on my face. And they're honestly the best thing ever. And all of this is only $15. And this will last you guys a long time. Because I usually mix these two. And then depending on the look I'm going for, you can go for those two um, colors for blushes. And then these highlighters are gorgeous. You guys need me, need this. I got it at Target, but you can also find it at Ulta. I seen it there the other day. So run not walk and get that physician's formula palette and bronzers so in here i have some bronzers i have nars bronzers i have a nars bronzer Fiji gorgeous bronzer i have a fenty beauty bronzer and i have a butter bronzer here i have some liquid and some contour sticks so i have some liquid blush this is the rare beauty blush in bliss I think or blissful or something like that yeah it's in bliss and i love 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 this not focusing i have my fancy beauty matchstick and mocha i have this benefit do me like liquid bronzer i have my fit me foundation stick that i use for contouring as well as this la girl pro conceal which i don't really use that much anymore but i did used to use it a lot i do have not that many blushes but i had a lot more but i kind of got rid of all of them i have this one which literally broke i don't even remember when i just remember looking one day and it was literally broken but this is a milani romantic rose i need to put it back together somehow and then i have this one this elf primer infused one this is like a peachy one i don't remember what color this was in and then i have this tart one in party and then i have this milani one this baked one in luminoso everybody was talking about this on it um Everybody always talks about that one, so I had to get it. And then I got this Wet n Wild one in Nudist Society. So it was such a nice brown highlight, I mean, blush. And then I got this Fit Me one, because a lot of people talk about the Fit Me blushes as well. And I just got this, like, pink one, because at this time, I was really into, like, peachy blushes. So I wanted to try a new color. And this one, I really actually do like. I used it not that long ago. And I don't know what color this is in. It's in the shade 25. And then I have this L'Oreal Peach one which i never used so i don't even know how it works and then i have these aoa studios ones this one is a really bright pink this one is a really nice like brown and this one is like really nice peachy i guess like mauve i have this one wander beauty like i think it's like a lip and it's a lip and cheek like thing but i have not used it yet i have my mark jacobs bronzer my omega bronzer in like bronze or something this palette is gorgeous. I used to use this every freaking day. And this is the Isn't It Peachy. If you're looking for a really like nice peachy um, blush, you guys should definitely try this palette. There are days where I would mix all of them. But if I wanted more of a subtle look, I would go for like this one. Or a darker look, I would go for these two. And I've never really used this one, the Glimmer shade. But this is honestly really inexpensive. I think it's like $10. So it is really affordable and it's worth it. And I got that from Target. I have this Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer palette. And then I have this resting B face palette, which I have yet to try. But it's like a face palette, so it has like highlighters, bronzers, and stuff like in blushes. And then I have this phase zero um, blush, highlighter, and bronzer like trio, which I want to try. And then I have this Ofra and Madison Miller. I used to use this all the time, but this is like a I think blush and highlighter and bronzer also duo. So these are like both like trios or whatever and then i have i got the matchstick pack i got the like the concealer and then the highlighter and the um contour stick but i have yet to try the other two i only use my contour stick which is right here but yeah so that's everything for that so that is the last of my makeup drawers but i decided i'm just gonna do like everything so in here i just have deodorant i just have my Favorite perfumes. I have some extra jewelry as well as my moisturizer because this is ugly, but I do use this a lot. Lint roller, uh, tight sticks, just like necessities that you might need. And I totally forgot, but I don't think I went over my moisturizers earlier. 
Um, this moisturizer I use for at nighttime mostly. And then the other moisturizers I use like before I do my makeup. Um, so I think I'm going to check out my, prim my moisturizers because they're all the way up here. I like literally like just skipped past them. But this is the Kill Skin Rescuer which I like to use only a little bit of um, on my dry patches. Because I do get a lot of dry patches because of the acne medication that they gave me like it's like a cream and it dries out my skin so much so i like to use that on my pimples um to moisturize them and then here i just have a tea tree oil this is really good for acne i do stuff like i do have back acne so i did try this to kind of get rid of that but i actually got rid of it another way which i do want to share with you guys in my skincare routine then i have this um elf happy hydration cream the hemp cannabis sativa seed oil priming or not priming it's a moisturizer which i really do like for priming my face and then i also have this other like jelly primer and this one is the super hydrate a moisturizer with hydrating i don't know what that says but i do like to use all of these products before um these three products before doing my makeup just so i have a really nice moisturized base as well as this i have this petite i don't know what this is but this is a white tone up cream um it's for whitening so yeah so that's my moisturizers because i s totally skip past that next door is all my like tech stuff so i usually keep my camera and my tripod in here but right now it's currently in my hand this is for my ring light these are like the extra pieces if i want to put those on there to adjust the lighting i have my mini printer i have some other like electronic stuff i have my stuff for my um camera my sd card holder my camera like strap my beats and then some other cords and the speaker i just have like all my um i also have portable chargers back there just like all my you know electronical stuff oh, actually i lied to you guys this is not the last makeup drawer there's something back here that's like stopping my freaking drawer from closing so in here i have headbands scrunchies and hair stuff i have my hair oils in here um, I have so many scrunchies and then these headbands that I'm always wearing on my head. I have so many of them as well. I have some white ones, black ones, pink ones, brown ones. I have so many of them. I'm not going to go into those because basically it's just hair stuff in here. Then I have my makeup palettes and my makeup drawer. Uh, my makeup drawer. I have a scrunchie that fell. So this is my first palette and this is my Nudes Heated Beauty palette. I love all these shades. As you can see, they're like literally, it's so me. I love how you can play with colors, but it's also still in my comfort zone. I use this palette all the time. There's makeup wipes because I like to use them to clean up my, um, I like to use makeup wipes to clean up my eyeshadow. I don't really use them for my face though, so these are just in there just to clean up my eyeshadow. As well as these e.l.f. tapes to clean up my eyeshadow. I never use these, but if I do need to use them, then they're here. This has been my actually my favorite palette recently. I've been using this one every single day. And this is the Morphe Madison Beer Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. She just came out with her album and I've really been loving it. This color right here, guys, is like the Fenty Beauty freaking Glow Bomb. This is so amazing. I use this all over my face for a highlighter but these colors are honestly gorgeous i love all of them i love all her you know her names and i love the whole like vibe of this whole palette i like to do a lot of my nude palettes with this and it's honestly gorgeous you guys need 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 this palette i have this venus 3 palette that i got yesterday um it's honestly really pretty it's like a brown i could never see myself spending that much money on a palette like this though it's like 60 bucks for that like i could never i got it in my boxycharm though so so i love having boxycharm because a lot of my high-end palettes come from there because i would never actually spend that much on that on like palettes like that then for my sister beauty collab i have these three palettes which are honestly gorgeous and these are only like 20 dollars each so you guys need to get these asap this is the queen cleopatra inspired one then I also have this You Are My Dream, which kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. It like has like the same colors plus more for $20. So it's like more than half off. So I definitely recommend that if you can't afford the Huda Beauty or don't really want to spend that much money on it. Because I definitely understand that was me too. Um, then I have this one. This is the Color Your Dream one. These palettes are honestly really all gorgeous. They're really big. They're in their boxes still, but I kind of showed you guys like the colors in the back. Or whatever these are only 20 dollars palettes you guys definitely need to check them out at sistercosmetics.com and they also have an instagram then i have this natasha denona palette which i really do like the colors are really nice then i have this morphe palette uh, i think i got it at ulta and this is the um i think like 
boy buy palette or something and like all of these names are like boy names which is kind of like kind of cool i guess it's kind of like different kind of like that whole like vibe or whatever of it being like a and i have the morphe jeffree star and it's honestly really gorgeous i think i forgot about it so i haven't used it in a really long time but it's still it's a really really pretty palette and yeah and I have this Morphe palette that I took from my mom. This is like one of the first palettes that I ever had because I took it from my mother. And it looks like this. And I did not use most of this. My mom did. Um, mom, if you want this back, you can get it back. But I doubt you want it back. <laughs> then I got this 35C Everyday Chic Morphe palette. I love, 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 love this palette. When I seen it, I was like, I need to get it. And it's like pink on the inside. And it's gorgeous. These colors are honestly so, so pretty. And yeah, so these are, this reminds me of like um, a Madison, not Madison beer, like a uh, Valentine's Day. Oh my god, I definitely like literally forgot that I had this palette. This is a Jaclyn Hill palette. This was my first ever makeup palette that I ever got um, when I first started doing makeup. And this also her, my first brushes were her brush set. So that was my first ever like where I where it all began where my makeup you know collection began it was with this palette it's literally like so old you guys can see like the Morphe's not even there it literally says Orf but we're not talking about that this palette oh my god I want to dip back into this palette because I did not use it as much as I should have I literally would only use like these colors up here I do definitely want to look back at this palette because it was not that pricey but it was money it was pretty pricey it's a good like it was a good price for this like quality or whatever but it was pricey so I have these two kylie palettes this one is so i have this one first which has like really like peachy like um ready more tones i guess these are really pretty i love this i wanted to use it for christmas but i never end up using it but it gives me like christmas vibes or like fall vibes and then there's this one, and this one is like oranges and browns, which I've used this one a lot more than I use the other one. I love this palette. It's so cute. Literally, these are my favorite palettes of all time. If you guys don't have this palette, you guys need it. This is the Nudes Moods Colourpop palette. It's literally $14, and that has everything you need in here. I know it's small, but these colors, you can literally see how like much they've been used. I love all these colors. I usually stick to using this one, this one, this one, and that one. Like Every time I do a neutral look, those are like the four shades that I use. The Lush Crush one, which I also really do like from doing more of a pinky or look. It's honestly so gorgeous. I love, love, love this palette. Like, can we just, oh my god, it's literally the cutest thing ever. I have this Dominique Cosmetics Sweater Weather palette, I think it's called. I don't know if it's called Sweater Weather. It just looks like it. It's called sweater weather but these are the colors in here and this is a butter london um palette really cute i love these colors i want to try something with this but the artist couture amor caliente palette or no it's not amor caliente it's just caliente my bad but this is really like bright i do not have anything like this i do want to try doing something with this in the summertime i think it's really pretty i've only used this once and i used it for the yellow shade when i did my yellow inner corner this Rivera Anastasia palette and this palette I do like a lot. I did use it a couple times, but I kind of forget about my palettes. I just stick to like my everydays. But yeah, it's really pretty. And then I have this Too Faced Mariale Amor Caliente. This is the Amor Caliente palette, okay? That's where I got that from. This palette is honestly so gorgeous. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is the cutest ever. I have this Be In Love With Makeup Obsession palette. You can get at Target. So gorgeous. You guys need that in your life. You guys also need this one in your life. This one is a Be Obsessed With. And you, it's from Makeup Obsession from Target. You guys literally need that. I have the James Charles palette. Because who doesn't have the James Charles palette? It's honestly like, hello. This is the mini one. But I love that for colors. Because at the time when I got that, I didn't have too many palettes with colors i have this juvia's place eyeshadow palette it's like a you know like pinky purpley then i have the um alamar cosmetics spanglish palette which is really cute i love the names and it's like a really nice color story i have the ace beauté um palette and this one has like a really like nice tropical colors in it i have the nudes moods by laura sanchez palette i have the nomad um this, this palette's really nice. It like has a lot of like darker shades. Looks like the outside. I have this Tetris palette. I think I've never used this palette before. But it's really cute. And the idea is nice. Then I have this one where you like build your own. But I need to add some more. Maybe I can like find some other like add-ons. But I like this. These came with it. But I would like to keep this like palette itself. Just in case I do 
want to try something that's like separately that I can buy. I have this Venice Fling Bailey Saren and Estate. I don't really know. Um, I did use this palette once and I think it was to use it as a blush though, not as a eyeshadow. Because these pens are humongous, guys. And to not tell me that you do not want to use it as a blush. And like, why would you not want to use it as a bronzer? Like, because honestly, I use this for my face more than I've used it for my actual freaking eyes. But I did use this on my as blush, this as bronzer, and then this as like an inner corner highlighter. This little Violet Voss palette, which is so cute, especially for traveling. I think I'd use this for traveling so much because you have everything you need in here. I have this Huda Beauty palette, which I love for traveling as well. It has everything you need in it, even if it's so tiny. It has like really nice colors, and I've used this quite a bit. I have this Venus um rose gold palette this quad palette and this is what it looks like it's so pretty i dug my nails into it on accident like twice um but this is what it looks like it looks so gorgeous and i don't think i've used this in a while and then i just have this the blush news maybelline palette i got this but never used it because i like it caught my attention but then when i actually started looking at the shades and the colors i was like you know what maybe this does not have my attention so i never used it so cute these colors are a little bit different but that light pink color is so pretty and i don't really know what kind of look you would do with this because they're literally all shimmers with just one matte shade which is that pink shade and then i just have this space case palette that i've never so used before. all done with that i hope it was everything you guys expected and i hope that i did a good job and i hope i wasn't talking too fast you know i probably was but that's just me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this more makeup collection videos or you know just makeup videos in general let me know because i do want to start doing more makeup videos or more fashion videos so make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see next from me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye